I don't let myself start a book uh, that I'm not going to finish. You know, when you're reading, you have to be careful that you really are concentrating, particularly if it's a non-fiction book. Are you taking the new knowledge and sort of attaching it to the knowledge you have? And for me, taking notes helps make sure that I'm really thinking hard about about what's in there. If I disagree with the book, sometimes it takes a long time to read the book because I'm writing so much in the margin. It's actually kind of frustrating. Oh, please say something I agree with so I can get through to the end of this book. So there's this one, it's a fiction book called Infinite Jest, but I'm trying to decide if I start it or not because I watched the movie, The End of the Tour. I loved it. David Foster Wallace comes across as a super interesting, broad thinking person. If the book was like, uh, two or three hundred page book. There's no doubt as soon as I watch that movie I dive in but uh, it's quite long and complicated and you know I don't want to make an exception. It's my rule to to get to the end. Over time I will make the switch but when I'm just sitting there at night reading uh, often a paper magazine or the, the book I'm, I'm used to that and it's ridiculous because I care I have whole book bag that goes on my trips with me and it's it's voluminous and antiquated. If you're reading books like these, you'd you'd want to be sitting down for an hour at a time because otherwise just getting your mind around, okay, what was I reading? This is not the kind of thing you can do five minutes here, 10 minutes there. Uh, magazine articles fit, or short YouTube videos fit into those little uh, slots. And so, you know, every night I'm reading uh, a little over an hour and so I can take my current book and make some progress.